So let me um, let me talk to you a little bit about file management in this. And the purpose of this is that for you to um, understand how file management works. And I'm going to just use a notepad, um, just kind of like a little text pad that I can actually place and uh, explain. And here I'll put some notes up here as well with it. You're working in a Windows uh, operating system uh, with it, but you know, out in industry we have. Linux and we have a um, different type of other operating system that runs web server with it as well. So um, whether you know different type of operating system you gotta be familiar with some sort of DOS command and some sort of um, instructions without the, the graphic user interface with it. Uh, with it. So let me let me just demonstrate some few things with you and we'll go from there with it as well. In your, uh, if you want to do this with me and kind of put this aside and kind of uh, and follow along with it, uh, in your command line or in your Windows Explorer, if you go down to look at your start icon, I'm using Windows 10, I right mouse click on it and if you can open up your file explorer, it looks like this. My file structure is going to be different from your file structure with it and it looks something like this. I mean, not everybody's going to look the same. Um, yours is going to have all sorts of different type of file structures. It's different with it. So let's, let's don't worry about what it looks like right now with it. But here's what I want you to do is if you can click on your, I'll, I'll take everybody, everybody should have some sort of documents directory. And I'm going to create a directory in documents in this and this is under my PC. It's under documents in here as well. So I'll just create a directory, right mouse click on the white area. This is the content of documents right now. I'm going to come over here, just click on new, and then I'm going to select folder. So I'm going to call today's folder, whatever it is. Let's call let's create today's folder is with today's date, 013120. I'll give you a second to do that. So the parameter is 01 starts with January 30. 20 okay or you could let's do this instead of not having a date we could do this uh, let's call this class uh, demo one okay class demo one for me can you do that and call uh, class uppercase C no spaces D demo one so let me just copy this I'll paste this on the notepad it looks like this this is what the folder looks like all right now you would think that this folder has nothing in there Correct. I'm inside this folder. Nothing is in here at all. And that's what Windows show you is that when you create a subdirectory or a folder, I'm using it as a synonym, uh, is that there's nothing in here. Now, put this aside. I want to show you some command lines with it. So uh, let me minimize this. And I want to come back over here. If you come down to your to your um, command line. I want you to pull up your command line. So find your search, this little circle uh, that's in Windows 10. And if you type in CMD, short for command line, and if you hit enter, and this is what it looks like. It pops up this uh, kind of like a dark um, command line type of screen with it. And I'm going to crank up the font here so we, all, we can all see that what it looks like. Can you all read that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually do this on the one hand and let me do this one so I'll put notes on the right and the left with it so you can follow along with it. So the way how you read this is this. is This shows you that you're, you're in the C drive uh, backslash user backslash and I have a, a directory called dial family. That's my family with it. Um, so let me, let me back up a couple of commands you need to know. So if you want to see the content of dial family, the command that you really need to type in is dir short for directory and you hit enter and it shows you a slew of all the directories that's inside of dial right nothing nothing special with it and if you want to see what this looks like over in windows explorer you come over here and you do <coughs> documents and this document this windows explorer is the same one as what you're looking at right now okay so uh let me let me bump this over and the same files are the same here. Okay, so just to let you see, here is some of the stuff that's that's over here uh, that you have, and versus what over in Dow. So they're they're comparable, the same directories. That's what you're looking for with it. So uh, let me just make a list. Dir, okay, which stands for directory, right? Um, let me just do this. So directory, dir, you know, short for what's called directory or a listing of the content um, uh, which shows the listing of the content of the directory. 
Okay, now I'm using directory and folder. These are synonyms. Okay, so if I happen to use folder and, and, and subdirectory, subfolder, same thing, right? The second command I want you to be familiar, I want you to point out something just really quick is this is a subdirectory of DAO, and you're going to see there's a dot dot right here. You say, just put that in the back of your mind right now with it. And where was that directory that we created again? We created a directory under what? Under document. You agree? So you, you're going to see, you're going to navigate to this folder called documents right here, right here, right here, where my cursor is pointing at right here, right? <coughs> so let's do that. So I'm going to do in my command prompt, I want to show you is cd, short for change directory space, and I'm going to do documents. Okay, DOS is not case sensitive, so but you have to put in the space between that's the parameter and documents. You hit enter and shows you the content of look. So I'm in documents is a subdirectory of DAO family. You with me? And DAO family is a subdirectory of user. And you're at the root of C. So just come over here, which make some notes here. So we're gonna do C D short for what? Change directory. And change directory allows you to go into a directory or a folder, right? So you're in a subdirectory right now. Look at this prompt as I'm already in a family. What is the command that I want to list the content of this? I do the IR, right? Only two commands we talk about now. And that it's that's its content as well. Alright. So I got a whole bunch of stuff that's installed here. Don't no, don't bother with this. So let's just, you know, if I want to back out, I do C D space dot dot. Okay. That will back out into the parent directory. If I want to do C D dot again, that backs us out again with it. I want to go back into the document, C D. Name of the document is what? Documents, right? And I go inside. Oh, guess what? I didn't. I didn't type that right properly with it, right? I need to go directly to the DAO family first, right? So that's why I get an error. So I need to DAO family, right? And then I go into again CD document. Okay. Now, what was the name of that directory that we just created again? Class demo. And if I forgot the name, what do I do? DIR, right? And I will list on here. And I, I would say, you know, class um, demo here, or or if I remember what it looks like here, here's class demo in here. It's under documents, right? That's what it looks like on this side. Let's go inside of that. So we're going to do CD class demo one. I hit enter, and look, look at this prompt right here. The way how this is, this is. I'm putting enter and so I can move this up to the, up a little bit more to it. Now. I'm going to go inside that directory to show you what's inside class demo. It has nothing in here. Look at this path. Documents to class demo 1. There's supposed to be nothing in here, you would think, right? What if I go inside of this? DIR. What? Uh, I need to go inside of this. What's the command to show what's inside of this? DIR, right? Huh. I have two subdirectories that I just created. You see this dot and the dot dot? The dot dot, remember what the dot dot does? If I do cd space dot dot, this will take me to the parent directory. Every subdirectory, you're going to have two subdirectories called dot and dot dot. The reason why <coughs> Windows does not show you these two directories is for security reason. So you don't want people messing with people's subdirectories and all that stuff with it. The reason I share you this is later on we're going to talk about absolute path and relative path. Just put that seed in, in the back of your mind with it as well. So right now, I don't want you to be concerned about it's the dot dot direct subdirectory. So if you notice my command is cd inside of the de class demo, I do cd dot dot, I hit enter, I back up to the documents. If I want to back up to another layer, what do I do? cd space dot dot. If I want to back up to another layer, cd dot dot dot. If I want to back up to the root of the drive, cd dot. So I'm at the root right now, way, way, way at the beginning of this. So there's a lot of things that you can actually change, you know, going to the root and navigate in and out. The reason I want to show you this, again, not everything runs on Windows 
platform. You are, you know, later on an industry, your web server can be run on an Ubuntu box, some sort of Linux operating system, some sort of Unix operating system flavor with it as well. So uh, the, the command's a little different in Unix. Instead of DIR, it's LS, short for list. And you, know, you, you, you learn this really quick, but the concept is still the same. The concept is still the same with it. So that's what I want to share with you is to be able to navigate in and out of the DOS command without the operating system. So you can do just fine with this. And if you want to see what the inside of this one it looks like with it, that's fine. Or if you want to change directory, CD, uh, change directory, see, short for change directory, and you can actually do, I have a directory, a uh, USB thumb stuck in here, so I change directory to my E, and you notice my prompt went to E, you see that? So, if I want to repeat everything with it, I hit the up arrow key and down arrow key, up arrow key will repeat everything I just typed in here, okay? So everything that I just typed in here, so that's my last command, Hit that, and it comes up with it. Okay, so just to give you a few navigation uh, tactics with it. Now, um, so let me let me move this. Let me just copy this over. So CD, we talked about a command called CD. What else did we talk about? Uh, I'm going to hit uh, arrow key. So we just review. I, I show you. You really don't have to know about CD change directory. So CD uh, directory. So CD dot dot. This will uh, allows you to back out to parent directory. Okay, and what happens when you do when you keep on doing it? CD dot dot, and you're going to back out to it as well. Um, so you can see a lot of times that if you have a lot of stuff like I have right here, it's listening with it, and don't worry about all these files with it. Um, <clears throat> just to let you know, you got to be able to navigate in and out of directories with it. You can make a directory again, okay? So uh, make a directory is what? Um, I'm at the root already, so that's not going to get me anywhere with it, right? So let's say I want to make a directory. Um, let's do. Let's go inside that that directory that directory that we were working into CD. Uh, I want to go into CD. What? What is our that original root directory path again? Anybody remember? Uh, yeah. See, so that's why DOS command is not very very user friendly. I have to go to the user DAO family and so on with it, right? So I got to go to user. So I'm going to do CD user, right? Enter, and you notice my prompt. Okay, so user. I'm in my prompt now. I, I'm going to go back to CD dial family. Okay, enter. Now I'm at my dial family. Okay, now CD uh, class demo one. Okay, so it says it cannot find path. Why? Because I didn't put it. I need to go to what documents in here, right? So CD. I forgot that was under a subdirectory uh, sub called documents. Still couldn't type. It's plural. I'm in documents right now. Okay, and then I do CD um, class demo one. Now, so I'm in my class demo one right now. Now, let's say I got all this stuff here, right? Here, and I'm, I'm scrolling in, and there's a lot of information here, right? So, a couple of other commands I want you to be able familiar with. There's also a command called DIR. I'm talking about DIR up here, short for directory. I place that in here, I'll say DIR. If I did forward slash P like that, all right? So, if I did, if I have, let me back up when it's actually listing, there's a lot more with it. So, uh, let's say I do DIR forward slash p for page with it right hit enter and if you if i expand this you could probably see this as in a page you see that kind of stops right there and hit p again it runs it up again with it or dir forward slash w will list everything wide so that kind of shows you different ways of listing in there as well okay don't worry you know this uh, these are just uh, just trivial stuff that you need to know the key thing is I want you to understand is um, about the dot dot directory navigation in a uh, directory in case if you had to go in to the DOS side and that and the operating systems down and you had to recover some files that are in and out it has to do with subdirectory with it as well let me stop right here pause everything there's gonna be a second part to this thing as well okay hold on <laughs>